Hey guys, I'm Katrina Harrell, author of Embrace Your Journey, and I actually want to tell you a story. Back in 2009, I found myself sitting at a table in an office room, crying my eyes out. I was crying and wondering why I had found myself in a position where I had invested thousands, I mean tens of thousands of dollars into a business that literally failed before it opened. On that day, I realized something very important, and I actually want to share that with you today. On that day, I realized that my ego was keeping me from achieving the success that I was destined to have. It was blocking my wealth, my wealth journey, and blocking the abundance that is my birthright. And during that process, I discovered that there are, in fact, three entrepreneurial personality types that actually are important for every one of us to know if we want to find the success that we are seeking in both our life and business. The first entrepreneur type is the fire starter. The fire starter is that person who has so much passion and creative energy that they want to start every single business that comes to mind the moment it does. Are you that type of person? <laughs> You have an idea book and it's just filled with so many ideas and you just can't wait to do it. You jump from business to business to business. But what's the end result? Just like a fire starter, you start a fire over here and over here and over here, but you don't control it and oftentimes it goes out of control and it causes chaos. That was me. That is me actually. <laughs> the fire starter. The fire starter isn't intended to oftentimes finish what they create. Oftentimes the ego will get in the way and have us think in that fire starter mentality that we are just supposed to create everything that we can and somehow it'll get, it'll, it will get done. Oftentimes leaving us frustrated, broke, and hurt. Then there's a second entrepreneurial type, personality type, and that is the strategic, strategic builder. And this person is the person that is somewhat on the one side of fire starter where they understand the energy to want to create so much, but yet they do want to plan things out. This person is what I call the left brain person with a slight right brain person mentality. They get the creative, but they love to structure. This is the person that you may want to start a business with, or maybe you started a business um, if you're this personality type but you find yourself sometimes getting stuck with understanding really how to push yourself forward in your business. You have a business, it's stable, it works for you, but it's not growing because as one part of you is afraid to push the creative side of you because you wanna make sure you plan everything out. Then there's the third type, and that is the consistent finisher. The third type, the consistent furnish finisher, is what every entrepreneur should have somewhat on their team. And this is the person that actually sees the vision way to the finish line. This person isn't necessarily the creative type on one extreme, like this fire starter, nor are they actually interested in, in creating structure. They simply just want to do the work and ensure that it continues to get done. So what does all of this mean and how does it relate to you? Well, if you're in a position right now where you're frustrated with why your business isn't growing or you have so many ideas and you don't know what to do with it or you find yourself nickel and diamond clients consistently over and over and over again because you simply just want to do your work, I want to tell you that it's very important for you to first get clear on what type of entrepreneur you are. When you're clear on that entrepreneur and personality that you are, you can then structure your business in such a way that supports that type without uh, stagnating the growth of your business. You can understand at what point in your business you should delegate, mm -hmm. ask for assistance, create certain packages and programs, maybe even sell your business. Not every single entrepreneur was made one way. There's some of us that can stay, stick with one business forever, 
And there's some of us that will create a business and sell it and move on. But guess what? It's okay. If that's you, it's perfectly fine. So the work that I do is actually teach women entrepreneurs how to release the guilt of feeling as though we have to be one way, which creates, when we have that mindset, it creates the self-sabotaging and that self-image um, of us that is not enough, or perhaps we start comparing ourselves to other people who are successful than we are because we don't live up to that level. So I would love to offer to you right now a free assessment to discover exactly which entrepreneur type you are so that you can get clear on your intentions and set the course in your business that is reflective of your abundance and your birthright, your wealth journey that is your birthright.